Hi, you guys. I'm Rico Chappelle. Welcome to House of Chappelle TV. Um, this is my first DIY, and I'm going to show you how I apply my hair. Um, I, I've been wearing it for about four months now, and everyone has been going crazy on Instagram and in Atlanta trying to find out how do this whole thing work. Um, so you will basically see me take the hair off and put it on. Um, I just came from my barber. Um, his name is Nail, Barber Stylist Nail. He's my new barber stylist. Um, and the great thing about him is he's able to do both. He can actually make the unit, put it on my head, and cut and style it. And that is very, very, very important when you're getting a piece like this on your head. You know, it's very taboo in the African-American community, but, you know, it is what it is. It's really technically a toupee, a modern day version of a toupee for an African-American male. Most toupees for Caucasians or, you know, other races are very thin, but this is very coarse. It's pretty much almost like a quick weave put on a cap. Um, so I'm going to show you how I pretty much take mine off, put it back on, go to the barbershop, and then come back looking like this. What? Can't even clock it, can you? Bam. Let me get up and show you how natural close it looks. Beautiful. So make sure you um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, we're going to start by gently removing the hair unit from front to back. And make sure you be careful so you won't pull out any hair that you waited anxiously to grow back. Okay, now I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol to clean off the hairline, which is created by black spray. You know, you leave all that up to your barber. Pull off the sides of extra hair and glue to help create the hairline as well. Now I'm using Goo Gone to loosen up any glue around the sides before we actually comb it all out. Alrighty. So there you go. Oh, that feels great. Mm. Serving George Jefferson realness. <laughs> so after I Loosen up the glue. Now after I loosen up the glue, I take a fine tooth comb to help comb out a lot of the glue particles that's left from the unit. And keep in mind that if any glue is left over, please do not try to just pull your hair out. Just take some goo, rub it on the hair, and just simply comb it, just like I did. Bam! So continue to comb all the glue residue out until the glue is gone. Now that all the glue is gone, it is time to wash and condition your hair. Now you can pretty much use any type of shampoo and conditioner that you want, but I used a generic Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Shampoo. Um, I just love the way it feels on my scalp. So you want to massage and really, really thoroughly cleaning your head and your scalp to make sure all the glue is completely gone from your head, period. Hey, you guys, I'm all clean. And now I'm going to take the fine tooth comb and run it through my luxurious locks to make sure all the glue has been removed now since the glue has been removed i want to take this time out to clean my face with my avino face scrub and you can see what i use um, of course in the description below uh, boom bam because a lot of times when you're using different hair products that i'm not used to um, it claws up the pores so you want to make sure that you really really take this time out to clean deep in those pores to be beautified. Now it's time to dye the hair and I'm using a off black dark and lovely to cover up some of those gray edges, yes. And so pretty much it's easy. You can get it from a CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, and just follow the direction. I know as guys, you know, I don't like to read 
the directions. I like to figure it out on my own, but this time I think you really need to read the directions because you're dealing with chemicals and you don't want to mix something up and you become crazy and your ear fall off. So just make sure you read the directions. Yeah, I shake it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Now, time to apply. Alrighty. Um, you can get like a little comb. The, the dye comes with this little bottle. You just put it on your head. This ooky ooky green stuff uh, and it eventually turns to black so don't worry about it um, like you're putting like slime on your head um, you know boom so just apply it to your hair and you can brush it in bam it's really really simple and really really easy gently brush it in all the sizes all the sizes is that really a word or is I'm, am I using it the right way? Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. Anyway, so brush the, the dye in, the dye solution in, and go ahead while you're at it, go ahead and dye your beard and your eyebrows, your mustache, your armpit hairs, or whatever. I'm just joking. I mean, if you really have like gray hair under your armpit hairs, like I guess you could dye it, but who really does I mean, like, who really pays attention to armpit hair? Or just shave them off? Okay, okay. So, boom. I'm applying the solution. And as you see that I'm just building it on there. I'm not just putting the whole lot on at one time. You don't want it to drip everywhere because it's dye. And, you know, it gets all on your towel, all on your face. And then just, like, leave this kind of really looking crazy stain, you know? Um, and if you notice that I'm leaving it off my head. So you need to let the dye sit for about 20 minutes so you can go to the freezer and get your nice cold pop, read a magazine, preferably HLC magazine, surf the web, you know, Instagram, make sure you follow us on Instagram on House of Chappelle and Chappelle to spell C-H-A-P-P-L-E. Um, and as you see right before your eyes, pretty much the solution will get darker and your hair will just become the color of the dye. There you have it. Now here's where it gets good. It is time to put on your unit. Back on your unit. So pretty much I'm using the same unit that I took off in the beginning of the video. Um, and usually roughly that unit costs around 75 to 125. It depends on what stylist you're going to. Um, you wanna take some rubbing alcohol to clean the top of your head really, really, really thoroughly. Like really get into that scalp and make sure no grease is left over. I normally use a toupee glue, but I'm all out, so therefore I'll be using a lace front glue. Now guys, personally I'd rather use the toupee glue because it's a stronger hole, especially you guys that are very athletic, like running around, carrying on. The toupee glue is just a stronger hole. But I'm gonna use the lace front glue because that's all I have. Mm -hmm. So you wanna take the glue and apply it to your scab. Boom, there you go, just like that. You're gonna need a mirror. You're actually gonna need two mirrors. Um, and the lace front, front glue is a little messy. Um, so just be careful. It's like a little, little strings, like spider webs that hangs from it. So just kinda, of be mindful of that and you know just take it and glue around put the glue around the edges and for me personally I just do the edges along the hairline and my forehead because I like my unit in the middle to be able to move because I like to scratch my head when it gets dry up under there 
So that's one of the reasons why I don't glue in the center of my head. Um, because sometimes you just want that itch. You got to get that itch. Oh, it just gets, oh. You got to get that itch going. So you got to scratch it. Now, after you have applied the glue, grab your unit and you probably want to stretch it out over your head and start putting it on from the back. Um, you probably want to use a mirror, but I've been doing it so much now, like I'm just, I can just feel my hairline. Um, I ease it on and I actually pull it pl in place um, and just roll it down to my hairline. Simple as that. And you want to make sure like it's just in place. You may want to add some extra glue on the hairline part to make sure that it's very, very extremely secure. Now the key to having a really good unit that blends in is to let that hair grow out on the sides. As you can see, it really blends in really, really nicely. And of course my barber fills it in with hair follicles and spray. You know, grab your hair dryer to make sure that the glue is dry, really, really dry and secure. You know, you can wet this hair, but if you want the unit to last a lot longer, I would suggest you do not do that. And I know you guys may have seen videos on Instagram of me washing it and all that good stuff. But after I've had it for a while, I noticed that it would be better for me not to wash the hair. Now just take a brush and blend the hair together. And there you go. And now it's time to go to the barber and get everything else filled in, your haircut and all that good stuff. Hey you guys, I just came back from getting my hair cut um, after I put the unit on. Um, and as you see, my boy at um, Hair Flicks Nail, he hooked me up. Um, Nail Styles on Instagram, you can go to my blog um, and see and get all his information. Uh, but you see, he makes it look really, really natural. He blends the, he fade in, let's see, let me see if we get closer. The hairline is perfect. He took and added hair here to the front and blended it in really, really nicely. Um, and he used some hair follicles. See, gotta get close. See, see, can I get real close to the camera? See, you can't even tell. Boom, there you go, get into it. Bam. Um, and of course he did a trim on a beard. You know, I dyed my hair black. Um, just so I, he won't have to charge me as much. You know, I'm being, I'm a cheap, I'm a businessman, I'm a cheapskate. Um, and I also applied my old unit that uh, my homeboy Q did. Um, and this unit has lasted me for about um, a month. So you can't even clock. Mm, get into it. Mm, get into it. Mm. Ah! So um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.